In this video, we are going to have a look at the healing tool. Now, this tool works in exactly the same way as the clone tool, which we looked at in the previous video. Now, when it comes to skin, the healing tool does a much better job than the clone tool. Now, I'm first going to show you why you shouldn't use the clone tool when working on someone's skin. So, let's first go to the clone tool. And then I'm going to make a nice big brush. Now, normally, you do not want to use such a big brush on an area like this, but I'm only doing this to show you the effect. So I'm going to control and click, get my sample, and I'm going to move it right here. I'm going to click. Now as you can see, it completely cloned this section to here, but look at the edges. It doesn't look very nice, does it? And that's the problem with the clone tool. The healing tool takes the information and blends it into the other skin. So it looks much more believable. So that's why I'd recommend not to use the clone tool when working on someone's skin. So I'm going to take the shortcut, Control and Z on the keyboard to undo. And I'm going to go to the healing tool. Now to first show you the result if you take the healing tool instead of the clone tool, I'm going to make the brush as big as previously. And I'm going to select this information here, Control click. As you can see the, the, the healing tool works exactly the same way as the clone tool. And I'm going to heal it right there. And if you look, you can't see the edges where it healed the skin. Now the problem is, because I've taken all this information and duplicated it right here, you can see the skin looks exactly the same. And your eye quickly catches on to stuff like that, so people can then see that you've been editing the picture. So to make it more believable, you need to edit it more subtle. You need to only take one pimple at a time, and then no one will know the difference. So I'm going to take the shortcut, Control z again, undo, and I'm going to make my brush size smaller. So let's take this pimple. So I go next to it. So to make a sample of the skin information, I'm going to hold down Control on the keyboard, click once, and then let go. Now I've got my sampled information and I can go to the pimple. Click once on that and voila, pimple is gone. And you don't see that it's been done there. It, it, it looks perfectly natural. And you can take a big pimple like this one, just make the brush size a little bit bigger with the bracket key. Control click, let go of control, click on the pimple and voila, it's gone. So this is such an easy tool to use. I can just go to that big pimple right there, go next to it, sample the skin, control click, go to the pimple, click on that, and voila, it's gone. And that's all for the healing tool, and I'll see you in the next video.